you're going to see it along with me for the first time. Looking good. Let's go take it in the other room where we can get the light to reflect off the surface. Now I know I said the other room, but this whole basement is my workshop now. Well, pretty well all of it. And uh, the area that I was standing in right there, well, that was my original workshop 32 years ago. And the workbench, it's always been there. Not that one, but that's where it's always been. And uh, where the, lathe, the metal lathe and the welder is, that used to be a bedroom. As the family moved out, I just sort of took over the basement. I can see that oil slick too, but you only notice it when the light is reflecting directly off the surface. And who's going to be looking at it that way anyway? Also, I can see little tiny microscopic dust particles. But once again, the light has to be just right. It's sure a lot better than it was when we were looking at that dimple. At least that's all I could see, and it was directly over top of the pendant. This is a lot better than it was. I also realize that it is a little bit more cloudy. Not much more, but just a little bit. We are looking through more acrylic than we were. It's a lot better. Now to figure out a stand or some sort of a frame. myself either here. I was lucky. I could have cut myself on that. Now I don't want to be damaging this acrylic here, but I did treat this with mold release. So I'm thinking, what kind of a frame or base can I make for this thing? And then I was thinking, you know, a little base, sort of like the base that my daughter had made for a pen holder many years ago for Christmas time. You know, something like that would be nice. And then I thought, why not use that? And it's sort of uh, double meaningful. I think that would be okay. I think that's kind of nice. This little piece of wood is also meaningful. So I guess it's triple meaningful. Yeah. I'll just fasten that on there somehow and I think we're done. Thank you for watching. <laughs>